Hey everyone. Morning. Morning. We're now in Yoho National Park. We spent the night at uh, the Lake Louise Overflow parking lot. It was nice, lots of people there. Yeah. So now we are at Takaka, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but Takaka Falls in Yoho National Park in British Columbia. We just crossed over to British Columbia from Alberta in Canada. So have a look at what we're looking at here. Incredible. Uh, quite the switchback we'll show you on the way. I guess Rob wants the camera. Yeah, okay, we'll show you the we'll show you the falls here. There they are. Right there. Anyway, we're gonna take a walk up there and see what the lookout looks like. Chopper. Where? Right there. Oh, cool. Okay, I don't know if you can hear us. There's quite a bit of noise here from these falls. But anyway, this, this is what we're looking at. <laughs> and there's a white grizzly in the area. We found a guy that's monitoring. He said it's literally right here. Yeah. So he, he, he said it was ju he just saw it a few minutes ago. Yeah. It's a big white grizzly. So we might want to get out of here, so we're yep. trying to hurry. <laughs> yeah, the reason we know that the grizzly was there was they have a radio collar on it, and the guy actually had a, 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 a handset, and he was tracking the grizzly uh, with the aerials. And he said it's literally right around the area here, and we don't have air spray. Well, we're going to have to go back up there. Okay guys, I think we're coming to the switchback. It says 20 kilometers an hour, which is generous. But anyway, yeah, let's see if it opens up and start going down. I thought it was a little further, but maybe not. Maximum 20, that's pretty darn slow. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Switchback. Oh boy. They're not kidding. Rob? Okay, check this out. You're gonna drive slowly, right, honey? Are you gonna drive slowly, honey? Uh, slowly. Uh, okay. Look, oh, oh, you can see it up ahead. Rob, do you slow, 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 there? slow. Oh, jeez. You watch where you're going. See the road down there? Oh, yeah, this is cool. Oh, no. Look at this road. Don't turn it. You told me you weren't gonna do that. You concentrate on the side of the road here. You concentrate on the driving, please don't worry about the camera. 
promised me you're going to concentrate on the driving. And here we go. Are uh, you going to make this turn? Uh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rob. This is the look of a little bit of fear right here. Rob can't help himself. Fear. Oops. <laughs> You're on the wrong side of the road. No, but you needed to swing in. Well, see, see after the person coming up the other way. <laughs> like this, see? Told ya. <laughs> there we go. I think there's one more, wasn't there? No, or was that, that was the it. first one? No, that was it. Oh, that wasn't as oh, eventful as I remember. Yeah, it seemed like more scary going up. See, first time terror is much more effective than second time. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Watch where you're driving. There's still. There's still things yeah, to worry about. Yeah, the water's coming through here pretty good. Yeah, it's beautiful. In okay, the spring, back up to 50. That must be... Yeah, in, in the spring, <sighs> this must be uh, really flowing. That's, like, that's... I can't imagine when they open the road here. They must just come in and go, well, can we get in? Because it's not like anybody is up here telling them that they can come in. Well, and you know what? It seemed much more scary going up than coming yeah, down. I know. I yeah, really thought it was yeah. scarier than that. We are but scary cat. still pretty cool. Like you really almost have to come to a stop to make each turn. You're going, it's a it's the biggest switchback. I don't know what how much more switchback you can without overlapping. Like how much more of a switchback you could do without oh, an overlap. No, like that's right. pretty much straight yeah. one direction and the other. Yeah. That was crazy. Well that's why you're not allowed to have trailers up here because your suspension uh, oh. yeah, you'd be dragging the bumper on the trailer trying to go around those curves and you jackknife and but, uh, but what if people didn't notice that little sign saying you couldn't take a trailer up here, well, which wasn't a major sign. You warning. would be uh, SOL. Yeah, you would. Oh look at the mist up ahead, that looks gorgeous. Oh I love this area. So this is once again Yoho National Park and we went to Takaka Falls. Last time we came through here in uh, end of October 2020, it was closed. And we assumed it was closed to COVID, but I think it was probably already closed because oh, yeah. of the time of year. And that it was uh, probably already impassable because of cold temperatures. It's a, quite a climb to get up there, so uh, quite high elevation. A lot of people up there, though. Yeah, it was. we had a great time, didn't we, honey? Yeah. It was yeah, a it was really, really fun time. Very nice. Very nice. But... Okay. Anyway. On to the okay. day. Okay. Uh... Heading west. We've been two hours and we've gone maybe 20 kilometers. So. <laughs> this is what we always do. <laughs> it's like, oh, a five hour drive, we can do that in one day. No, we yeah. get about uh, about a one hour drive in one day because we stop so much, but that's what it's all supposed, that's what it's supposed to be about. Enjoying the day and enjoying the journey, right? Yeah. So, so yeah. Anyway, we'll uh, end this video and I uh, hope you enjoy it because uh, we wish you were here. Uh, this is absolutely We do? Good. Who do you know who you're talking well, to? You want everyone to be here that's listening to this video? Yeah. We wish everyone could enjoy and experience yeah. that. That's what he means, yeah. right, Rob? Right. I I'm glad you figured that out for me. Because <laughs> without you, I'd be lost. Okay. He could try. He could try. Yeah. Yeah. Watch the bend. Watch the bend. Yeah.
Okay guys, so here we are at the location of the last spike which tied uh, all the railroads together and uh, this is kind of a, a unique place. Uh, it had a lot to do with our confederation and things. So uh, at any rate, uh, this is the location and uh, it's in uh, Craigleish, British Columbia, November the 7th, 1885. I wasn't here, but uh, monumental anyway. It gave me a, a, uh, a career for my whole life. 37 years on the railroad and uh, as you can see here it's still live track this is still uh, the CPR I believe main line and uh, at the right times of day uh, you'd see the trains going by here and it's uh, I don't know if you know much about the railroad or how it works but you can see there's no joints in the rail usually they're about every 48 feet and uh, so this is a continuous welded rail which I have laid quite a few miles of it myself, but uh, that's what it's all about. And apparently the story is that uh, the reason the railroad was uh, put in like this uh, was to stop uh, the American rails going north to south. So that's why it was brought right across Canada. Uh, as close as they could, I guess, to the border or whatever, to stop uh, more or less an infiltration of uh, our partners to the south from coming into Canada and uh, monopolizing things. But anyway, here we are. The 100th anniversary of the driving the last spike was commemorated here. This video, you goofball. <laughs> You were supposed to pretend to do it 12, 10 years ago. You okay. came here and you pretended so, so anyway, to drive in the last So the, uh, the, anyway, the person who did this was William Van Horn. Mm -hmm. And where did I grow up on the railroad? Uh, Horn Payne. That's why it's called Horn Payne? Yeah. Monetarily or politically, uh, I have to look it up. But uh, okay, pretend to be driving in the last spike. You did it before. Pretend that you're doing it. <laughs> hmm. What is this place? Let's have a look. What's this? Who is this guy? <laughs> Your face has to be further in. <laughs> Thank you, Pete. <laughs> <laughs>